Okay, I'm assuming if you're coming to this training, you are wanting to know how to set up a Facebook event to go with your Tupperware parties. So we are on Facebook, and look at my beautiful girls. Aren't they awesome? Oh, you can't see Kaylin very good. Her eyes are closed. There's my family. Um, but this is my Facebook page, and I'm assuming if you're if you're doing this, you already know how to set up a Facebook page, and you already have one. If you need help with that, let us know. But now what we need to do is we need to set up an event. So what we're going to do is we're going to click right up here to home. And you're going to see that the screen changes. Once you're at the home page, what you do to set up an event is on this left side over here, you click on events. Okay. So that was pretty simple. I'll do it one more time. You're on the home page. And all you have to do, and I'll scroll in, is click on events. Okay, and now look, we're going to create an event, and you always want to make it a private event. Okay, now you, it says you can either choose a theme or upload a photo. I always upload a photo, and there's lots of, of different photos you can upload. This right here is one I've used in the last couple weeks. It's a, a specific sale we have going on right now, and it's real colorful and pretty. Also, sometimes, oh, this Fridge Smart picture right there is great with all the refrigerator so organized with Fridge Smart. Also, if I scroll down just a bit, I happen to know I have a pressure cooker picture here. If I knew they wanted to cook in the pressure cooker, which that happens sometimes, or a different product, the grill, I might put that in the cover. But we've also got this one right now that is perfect for uh, just any party this year because this is the 70th year of the Tupperware party, and that's what that says. And then you just click on the picture and click open and it will jump right onto the screen. Okay. So you can see it says 70 years of the party. Okay. So I picked the picture. The event name is going to be Deb's Tupperware. Oh, I didn't capitalize. I probably should make it look just like I would normally. Hang on. Okay, Tupperware. I think I got it. Deb's Tupperware Party. There we go. So the hostess's name, whatever that is. Now the location, what you're going to do is just literally type in the address. And what's really cool about this is as you continue typing their address just might pop up. And then if that happens, you can grab it and click on there. Now, if not, you just type it and it'll say something like, do you just want to use this address? And you'll say yes. Then the, the date, you can just click on that little calendar and look, it opens. And I can just say March 21st. And 1 a.m. is probably not what I'm having the party. Let's go with 7 and probably 7 p.m. So I just hit this, clicked on the one and then and then while I was clicked on there, I hit the number seven. And I'm going to click on the A and I'm going to hit the letter P and it's going to switch to PM. And obviously I'm central time. And then I already had this pre-typed and saved. So I'm just going to put what I usually put. Come and see what's new in Tupperware. It's definitely not your mama's Tupperware party anymore. Okay. And then now here's the deal. If I was on my phone right down here, it would say co-host and I could add my host. I don't know why on the computer it doesn't. So I do this on my phone a lot. But what I'm going to do is, so if it did say that, I would click on that. And then my friends list would pop up. You have to have made your host your friend on Facebook. So you have, have to do that before. You can do this. And then if I'm on my phone or if I'm not, I'm going to click create private event. Then if I wasn't on my phone... I'm going to have to go up here and invite and choose a friend, and I'm going to have to invite my host. But if I was on my phone, that part is already done. And then once she adds herself to the page, then I will have to make her the co-host. Now, once I have the party going, then I can post pictures in here of what the current sale specials are. Like, remember that little sale special that I told you about earlier? There we go. I can just click that right in there. 
and I can add her party link here. I can write notes to the guests. I can do all kinds of cool things. And then she's going to, of course, post, tell her friends about it so that they can see what's going on. So the event enhances the party because it serves as a reminder. It might entice them to come. Or if they can't come, you can post the online link. There is another video that shows you how to create that Tupper link if you don't know how to do that. So go watch that video and then you just copy and paste that into the Facebook event. Hopefully this has been helpful. Thanks so much.